Hi, and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create a registration flow for daily notifications on Messenger. Why is this important? When you're creating an event, a summit, a live virtual event, or even an in-person event, we want people to get notifications from us. And the only way to do this automatically with chatbots right now is for them to get registered for daily notifications on Messenger or on Telegram. But today I'm going to show you how to create that reminder registration flow so that you can create it yourself for your next virtual event. Hi, if you don't know me, my name is Ana Andrea. I'm the Irresistible Experience Creator. I help hosts, experts, and coaches just like you create irresistible experiences for your communities so that you can make a bigger impact and a bigger income and they have an awesome, irresistible experience when they come to your events and your communities. I hope that this video is of value to you. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment and all the things. I will get started in a few seconds. I'm going to show you my screen and I'm going to show you how to create that reminder registration flow for your next virtual event. And I'm going to show you how to do it inside of ManyChat. Let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the menu on the left and look for the Atom icon for the automations. And we're going to create a brand new flow so that we create this registration to daily notifications. Okay, here at the top right corner, we got the new flow button. So we're going to click on it. We're going to start from scratch. And the trigger is going to be a referral link and a keyword. So the referral link, I'm going to set it up first. So it's going to be registration summit. We save it. We change the name of the title to Summit registration. Okay. We're going to choose Messenger. And we're going to set up the first messages. We're going to add a delay and then we're going to select the messenger list. That's what it's called now. The daily notifications, the daily reminders, they've changed the name to messenger list and the messenger list allows you to send messages outside of the 24 hour window to your contacts. You can send messages on a daily basis or a one time notification or weekly or monthly. In this case, we're going to select daily. Now this is what's going to come up and we're going to create the messenger list. Now, this title is so important because later on we're going to be using it and we're going to need to refer to it on our daily messages. So we're going to say here and then we're going to click here on create. We're going to have to type in the name. We're going to select the frequency daily. Now, here we're going to provide the contacts with a description of the request text you will send. And we need to be as specific as possible so we do not get blocked or people start unsubscribing because they don't know what this was for. So, Now this, we cannot change it and we cannot change the button either. That's how it's going to be and we cannot change it at all. We can also automatically resubscribe the request, send a follow-up message after six months in case recent request expired. Now, since the summit is a one-time experience for a certain period of time, 
we do not need to do this. Now, make sure that you read this little message here. It says Meta doesn't allow changes to content of the requests. So you got to be very sure of what you're going to be sending and creating. So now we're going to click here on the button, on the blue button that says create on the bottom right corner. And this is what's going to be created. Now, if you see here at the right, this is what they're going to see. So before we do that, we're going to add a message here at the top telling them that they need to do this. So to register. Okay. And we're going to be as clear and as specific as possible with the least amount of words as possible as well. And we can upload an image if you want. This could be very useful. You could set up here the logo of your event. You could set up a GIF. You can set up an image of your summit here. You could be more specific and create an image for the actual reminders and like little hands or something like register below, click on the button, click on the button or something like that. So this is what we want them to get. And this is going to be a very simple registration flow because we don't want to over overwhelm them with a lot of messages. Now, once they click on the message, we're going to click here on the little button. Do you see here on the button? There's a little circle here. We're going to click on it and then we're going to add an action because we always want to tag every single thing the user does. and be as specific and as long as possible on the tags. Don't be afraid to be super, super long. Just make sure that this is specific so that later on when you come back to it, you know what it is and you are not guessing with acronyms and codes and stuff. It's not necessary. Now, the next step after this, we can click here, choose next step. It's gonna be a message. We're gonna add an image. We're going to add a GIF because I am obsessed with GIFs. Let me see. This one is great. Anna from Frozen. And we're going to acknowledge them and remind them that they already subscribed successfully. Using their first name. Always use their first name. People love to hear their name and read it. And then we click on the top right corner button where it says set live, the blue one. And this is it. This could be as simple as this. Or you could... Take them to the next step after this. Now, here are two things that you could do. The first thing that you can do is you can have them subscribe to a sequence where you're going to put all of the messages there. And let me show you the sequences where they are. We're going to right click here, new tab. And here in the automation section, here on the sequences, you can create a new sequence. And we don't have any messages here. So we click here on one message. So it could be it has to be every 24 hours. And then we create the message, the messages separately. And then we add them here and we select existing. Let's see. Like this. It could be as long as this one. Or it could be smaller. I'm going to show you. This was my other summits message. But I'm going to show you an example of how it looks. Right? So, talks about the first session. And then we add a tag. And then 45 minutes later, we send 
the message for the next sessions. This is one way to do it. I'm going to show you deeper on the next training, how to do this and all the options that we can do. It's going to be a longer video, but make sure that you have really cool graphics with the title or headline of the summit session because a lot of people don't even know who that speaker is but they're more interested on what they're going to be speaking on so make sure you have that and once they click on the first message then they're going to be receiving the other messages if they don't click on this message they're not going to receive the next messages so this is just an example of the types of daily notifications that you can send and you always have to put the reason here at the top and this is why here we created this list name so that go it goes with the topic inside of the message and that way we are coherent and cohesive and facebook doesn't block us so that's it on how to create a registration flow let me go back on how to create the registration flow. If you want to subscribe them to the sequence, what you have to do is as follows. We create here the next step. And we click here on actions. And then we click here on subscribe to sequence. And then we look for the sequence. And then we just update it. Ta -da! And then they're going to get subscribed and they're going to start receiving the messages how you set them up. So that's how you create that. Now, the other way to send the messages, they are through the broadcasts. And I'm going to show you in a next training how to do that. Okay, so this is it. Okay, now that you know how to create the registration chat funnel, we're going to create the daily notifications and the reminders that we're going to send throughout the virtual event or the virtual summit. Make sure that you go onto a Google Doc or a Google Sheet and create these messages first and figure out and think about what you want to tell your audience during this period. It is important that you send notifications before the summit starts so you warm them up and get them excited. And then during the event, one time a day, and give them an option of receiving one message a day or every hour on the hour or two messages a day every single day with the notifications. On the next episode, I'm going to show you how. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of this training episodes to help you create irresistible experience with chatbots for your virtual summits and events. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and God bless you. Bye-bye.